all stand to attention for the King of Albion. Today you must decide how much protection to grant Aurora. Kaylin will offer her proposal. Reva will stand against her. You may speak. Your Majesty, as you know, the threat from the deserts that surrounds my city has not diminished. The darkness could fall upon us once more at any moment. Aurora is part of your kingdom now, and I ask that you grant us protection. Build a desert outpost that can warn my people should the crawler attack. It shall allow us to leave the city in time and ensure the survival of your loyal subjects. A desert outpost? I've never heard such nonsense. What should we do next? Erect taverns under the sea? Plant crops on mountain peaks? It is a foolhardy suggestion. Why should our valiant soldiers suffer sunstroke and chapped lips in a distant land when they could be protecting the people of this very city? Is it really worth risking the lives of all the people outside these walls for a mere alarm system? Of course not. Let us leave the funds and the soldiers where they belong, right here. The darkness poses a threat to us all. But Aurora has already suffered more than its fair share. The final decision rests with you, Your Majesty. Aurora is under our protection. It is our duty to build this outpost. The King's decision is final. A military outpost shall be erected in the deserts that surround Aurora. We shall not forget this gesture. Aurora thanks you. Ah, you are a whimsical monarch. And that is why you are so beloved. Very well, it shall be done. Reva Industries is proud to present an exotic tale of romance, adventure, and sand. The Desert Outpost. Bring forth Sabine of the Mist Peak Dwellers. Today, you decide on the fate of Mist Peak, home of the Dwellers, Your Majesty. Sabine will speak for his people and their land. Reva will dispute his cause. You may speak. I come here seeking nothing but what was promised me and my people. You pledged to restore our home mountains and our right to dwell in them. We have fulfilled our end of the bargain. We have paid with our lives to sit you on that throne. Now you must fulfill your end. Undo the damage your brother did to our land and our agreement shall be satisfied. Your Majesty, this sounds both an unnecessary expense and an impudent demand. What value is there in a few trees languishing amongst snow and rock? This is not the time to indulge some idyllic fantasy. Those forests are a resource, and we are in dire need of resources. I propose we expand on your brother's initiative and take what nature offers so readily. Say the word, and I will transform the worthless wasteland of Mist Peak into assets we can use to defend Albion. These hands are not yet so old or weak that I can't wring that pretty little neck of yours, Reaver. Huh. The refined retort of a true mountain goat. You made a promise to Sabine. But it's up to you whether you decide to honor it. I will keep my promise to the dwellers. The Miss Peak Mountains will be restored. Miss Peak shall become a protected region, and the dwellers shall be granted authority over its forests and resources. You are true to your word and your honor. The dwellers will stand by you till the end.
The forests of Mistpeak are our greatest national treasure. And now, thanks to Reaver Industries, they have returned to their past splendor. Dwellers, birds and bunnies are free to roam, laugh and kill each other as nature intended. Who needs all that lumber anyway? My king? Attention? For king and country. Yippee! It is time, your majesty, to meet fate with steely resolve and commission Albion's army. We will use the funds we have to establish the best possible defense. Before I can commit those funds, however, I require your signature on a contract, stating your awareness of the projected number of civilian casualties. Strictly a formality, of course, though should the number alarm you, you may wish to donate as much gold to the Treasury as possible before you sign. Welcome to the Sanctuary. Very good. If you could just sign on the dotted line, please. Happy anniversary, your majesty. One year as King of Albion. Doesn't time just fly? I am delighted to say that the Albion army has been deployed in preparation for the invasion, so we may enjoy the occasion without apprehensions. To celebrate this momentous day, I have prepared some fantastic events. First, you will stand still for several hours while a local artist paints your portrait. Then, you will choose the 47 varieties of flowers you wish to be cast at your feet as you parade through the city. Oh, and you will need to sign thousands of autographs, of course. Let's see, you will also be fitted for a new pair of shoes, and, of course, you will need a new... The day has come, King. It is time for you to face the darkness. But you will do so in your true form. Over the past year, you have made decisions that reveal your nature and which have affected the lives of all your subjects. You have done what many would have thought impossible. Not only have you raised an army to protect your people, but you have accomplished this while acting as a noble, benevolent, and popular ruler. But you are more than a king. You are a hero. You are Albion's champion, its protector. This coming battle is the reason you had to take Logan's place. Only you can defeat the creature that dwells in the shadows. If you do not, all your efforts will have been in vain. Now go. Do what you were born to do.
It's here. The darkness has reached Powerstone. The attack has barely begun, but already we have suffered terrible casualties. We simply weren't ready. If we don't act quickly, there may not be a kingdom left to defend by dawn. We have to get out on the streets, now! Today we fight for Albion! For, for Albion! Albion. Defend the city with your lives! That looks rather powerful. Good work!